hey, Mr. Log and Pooper, would you like a wake up call? And by the way, I'm a comedian. My, you're a handsome young fellow. <laughs> Can you check me in, please? Why, of course. Can I have John help you with your baggage? <laughs> and speaking of baggage, I wish someone help my girlfriend out with hers. <laughs> I mean, seven years, more like the seven month itch. <laughs> oh my, you are funny. I could use a comedian like you on my team. Where do I sign? Right here. 200 pages contract. My girlfriend. Smile, thank you. And more hair for you. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Looks like my career's really coming together. <laughs> Way to go, Mark! Mark! <laughs> oh, welcome to the Waverly Plaza Hotel. Yes, I'd like to check in. Yes, yes, of course. Um, looks like you have a lot of baggage. <laughs> no, not shitty. It looks like your girlfriend's got a lot of baggage. <laughs> More, it's seven years, but uh, but it feels sometimes it kind of is like the seven month bitch. <laughs> uh, I. What the hell did you just say? Did someone say girlfriend? Because here's the little diddly do I wrote about my ex girlfriend who just so happens to be a ginormous bitch. B I T C H is the name that comes to mind when you eat all my chicken wings. Cluck, cluck. Oh, where'd he go? That went terrible. Mr. Loggenhofer, your bags are in your room safely, sir. I didn't have any bags, actually. <laughs> um, this isn't my full-time gig. Actually, I am a musician. Listen, kid, I'm really not... One sec, mood. dude. Got a text. Oh, what do you know? It's my girlfriend complaining again. What do you mean we need a new dog? I don't know what the f*** that means. Sometimes I think these women are more troubled than they're really worth. <laughs> Oh, and that's duvet. Whoa, Mr. Loggenhofer, sounds like a real fancy scotch. Um, so what happened with that hot lady chick friend of yours? Well, she left. We're not exactly in the best terms right now. We had some Jerry Springer shit going on. Sir, if I may. The thing about 25-year-old chicks is they are crazy, all of them. My ex-girlfriend still leaves a dead cat on my doorstep every month, and we broke up two years ago. Where's she getting all these cats from? <laughs> Anyways, I think you should date someone older, wiser, more experienced. But I did, my ex-wife. Well, sir, she must have been a giant wet fart of an ex-wife to leave you. Yeah, thanks. Hey, cheer up, man. I think you're gonna find this hotel to be more than accommodating. Yeah. Good evening. Oh. Listen, kid, it's very late and you've already been highly <clears throat> unprofessional. Uh, everything that happened downstairs, I mean, yikes. Um, I just was hoping that I could come in. I know we got off on the wrong foot. Great. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank you. Well, um, I know downstairs was a little crazy, um, but I didn't mention I'm actually a struggling comedian, so I was just trying to impress you. I hope I could just uh, apologize. All right, you have 30 seconds. Okay. <laughs> Dear Mr. Loggenhofer, two worlds collide here at the Waverly Plaza Hotel, one from comedy and one from management. Unfortunately, we got off to a very uncomfortable start. Oh. What now? Is this room 2216? Uh, yes, officer. Is there a problem? Yeah, we've received several complaints. We're gonna have to take you in. But, uh, for what? Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to sit down. But I didn't do anything. Sit now! All right, okay, okay. 
you have the right to remain sexy. What kind of a sick hotel is this? Uh, Mr. Longenhofer, I'm gonna go, but enjoy the champagne, get officer. May the force be with you. Hello. Hey, you get back here! I swear, you never work in this business ever again. You piece of shit. <laughs>